All right, when you're dealing with triangles that are connected together like these, you have to be careful um, with how you're going to write your similarity uh, statement and also with the corresponding sides. So for example, if I'm looking here, I know that angle N overlaps in both of the triangles. So for instance, I have this triangle, which is MNQ, and this triangle, which is uh, ONP. And I might change those names um, because we're looking at which angles are going to be corresponding. So if you look here, if you look at this triangle, um, the sides, for instance, this side has to be similar to this side um, because they're going in that straight line. And then this side, the six, has to be corresponding to this side. Another way that I can tell is that um, this is the largest side for this triangle. This is the smallest side. In this triangle, it's flipped. This is the larger side, and this is the smallest side. So we're going to identify that angle M is congruent to angle P. Okay, Across from each other, those angles are congruent. And I'm writing two marks just because I did one mark here already. And then angle Q, I'm going to put three marks here, is congruent to angle O. Okay. So those are the pieces that are congruent to each other. Q has to be congruent to O, M has to be congruent to P, and I'm going to write a similarity statement for these. Uh, so my similarity statement, and I'm going to start with the letter N, and I'm going to go one, two, three for the markings that I made. So we're going to have triangle N, P, O is similar to triangle, I'm going to go one, two, three, N, M, Q. And then you can determine your sides from there.